I wish I could really play the piano like that, but I can't. I did learn the piano a long time ago, but I always found it difficult to translate what was written on the music into the sound that came out of the piano. You see, it's a bit like reading two languages at once. If you know anything about the piano, you know this, don't you? When you look at those notes that are written on paper, the position of them, whether they're on lines or between lines or under lines, that tells you where the note should be along the piano. So if I look at this one, for example, I know that the first few notes I'm going to play are these. But it doesn't tell me how long I should hold each note unless I look at the notes themselves. Are they black? Are they white? Do they have tails on or don't they? Do they have dots after them? When I look at that information, it tells me about the time I should hold each note. And I know that in this one, for example, I should hold each one for about this length of time. One, 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 two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And so it goes on. You can imagine what it's like if you've got a piece of music that's using lots of fingers on both hands all at once. Well, the position of the note up and down the piano is called the pitch. The time that you hold each note for is called the rhythm or the timing of the piece. What do you think is more important in recognising a tune? What do you think? You probably said pitch, where the note is. But there are some tunes you can recognise by the rhythm alone. See if you can recognise this tune, which I'll play with my knuckle on a block of wood. You ready for it? Listen. And you probably recognised it as three blind mice. It was easy to recognise it from the rhythm alone, without knowing anything about where the notes were. Well, I have a little gadget here that allows me to put in the notes, the position of the notes, the pitch and the rhythm quite separately. Just the thing that I need. First of all, I'll put it into record position, and then I'll put in that very song, Three Blind Mice. Just the position of the notes, how far up or down they are. Won't worry about the rhythm, doesn't matter if I make an occasional mistake. Right, here we go. I'm going very slowly because I'm not sure. Then I think it goes here. That sounds pretty good. See how they run. They... Oh, that doesn't sound right, does it? Well, I can delete that note by pressing this little button. Right, they all run after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tail with a carving knife. Did ever you see such a thing in your life as... What comes next? Three blind mice, right? The notes were there, but the rhythm was altogether wrong. Doesn't matter. I can now put the rhythm in separately by tapping, not on a block of wood, but on just one button, like this. Here we go. rhythm and pitch in separately. Now they're recorded in the memory of this little gadget, so I can put it on to play and we can hit one button and see how it sounds when it comes out together. It was a little bit slow, don't you think? I can speed it up as well. It's on speed zero, so I'll put it up to speed one, two, three, four and hit the autoplay and see if they come out the right way together. 